Man, you come right out of a comic book. Pulp to Pixel Media. Exploring the media multiverse of geek culture. He meddled in things intentionally Hello, I'm Gotham Shran, creator of the science fantasy comic, The Last Earth. I'd like to welcome you to my speed drawing and art process videos. Each week, I'll take you behind the scenes in the creation of my weekly comic strip. If you like this video and wish to be informed when new videos drop, then make sure to like, follow, and subscribe to stay up to date. All right, panel 21. So week six is... Finally, we're going to start getting into some actual, like, action action. Um, the last couple of weeks have been a lot of uh, sort of tension building as the Steelheart sort of, you know, just really sort of storyboarding his, his trek across the desert and then his climb to this cavern system. But now that we're in the cavern system, um, I'm going to start moving, you know, action forward. There's now going to be dangers and, and problems for him to overcome. Uh, as I was creating this and I was starting to post these, I really started to realize, I was like, okay, I'm four weeks into this and he's not really done much, but like climb a, climb a cliff and drive his motorcycle around. So uh, good news is I had some planned um, action already, but now I'll definitely try to be moving more into that because you know, this is an adventure comic, and, you know, it's supposed to be an action-adventure comic um, with sci-fi and fantasy elements, and uh, not a talkie. <laughs> this is not a cerebral sort of story. This is a very, like, bad guys pu bad guys need punching and, you know, swords and lasers and stuff. So, uh, we'll get into that. Uh, you know what I wanted to say real quick? I, this bridge... Is something that I'm actually very proud of a lot of the art that's come out of here. Um, you know, sometimes you have a, you know, you can't quite hit what you're trying to draw, but you just have to do it anyway because you're you're hitting a deadline or you just want things to move forward. And one of the great things about this series is that I, you know, I'm my own boss, so I, I'm running at my own deadlines. Um, and so I can take my time to change or alter or get it quite right. And so I've really been happy with a lot of the panels that have come out. Oh, see, here you see me actually, my sketching. So uh, previously I was using sketches that I had done, uh, analog sketches. I would, I would uh, scan them into Adobe Fresco and then basically like a light box, draw over them, ink over them. Um, here though, I am actually doing the... Uh, the, the the sketching right directly in Adobe Fresco. And we're going to see more and more of those panels. Um, well, I do like to work in pencil uh, to kind of work out ideas. And it is the, you know, the original medium I always started drawing comics in or drawing it all in. Um, just having to skip that step and go straight to the, 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 um, the software is is great too. So you'll start to see more and more of that in these speed drawings. Um, this one, I I really like how this comes out. Now the other thing about the 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 series moving forward until what I'm hoping to be the real act break um, in about oh so at this point every four months are going to be basically an act. Because I can get about 24 pages of comics um, out of four months. So I am, as I make these series, as I make these panels, uh, I am actually also recutting them into multiple panels per page to be much more like a traditional comic book and less like a comic strip. Um, and from what I've been able to create so far, it definitely looks like I can get about 12 pages every two months, so about 24 pages every four months. So I'm planning this out for a year. So there'll be at least three 24-page issues, which is perfect. I can do a three-act structure. So this is act one, where we're kind of introducing the character, kind of sort of setting the stakes, and and then we'll have act two and act three. And, and um, I have no idea what's happening in act two or act three. I am very much writing this as I go. And I am writing this in a, what I would call, in, in sort of a Marvel method that I am kind of starting with an idea and I draw it first 
And then I go in and decide what's happening. So many of these panels are drawn um, without me having written the dialogue for them. Uh, in fact, it may be a few weeks before I write the dialogue for them as, as it gets closer to when I post them. And I, I have like overarching plans of what I want to do, what I want to see, what are, who should appear in these. Um, but for right now, I'm kind of letting the story tell itself sort of George R.R. R. Martin style sort of gardening rather than architecturally designing. Uh, this one. Oh, so another thing I want to comment on is you'll notice I'm I'm going to start ramping up this more and more in the next couple of panels. You're going to see in the next few weeks, but you're going to see a lot more hand lettering of these special effects sounds. And I am enjoying that a great deal. I, I, I had, when I took classes for comic making, they had included uh, lettering, but they didn't do show us how to do regular lettering. They just had us use the mechanical lettering because really, if you're working for any of the big companies using the digital lettering is the way to go. Um, largely because they need to be able to remove your lettering and replace it for international editions, um, which is actually, you know, so that's a really, uh, you know, it's not just them being controlling. They actually have a legitimate business reason for that. But I, you know, I want to do everything about this. I want to learn this whole series is to help me sort of train myself up and learn the art of comic making, yeah, kind of get to my hundred pages, thousand pages, um, so that the the series that I want to make after these uh, have a lot more skill and polish behind them. So that's the case. But yeah, so I right now it looks like I'm eventually, while well, I'm trying to put them out monthly as little ash cans, um, I do have plans to collect them into a much more substantial uh, standard size comics. Um, and then collect those three standard size comics together into what I hope to be a pretty decent graphic novel um, that can be purchased. So all plans for the future um, and hopefully things that I'll be able to get to you guys who are who've been watching these this series and or following this this uh, um, my uh, drawings online or watching this YouTube channel. Um, now, to actually, to help this to this end, uh, I do recommend, though, I also do have um, coffee.com, which allows you to do micro donations. So if you want to kind of buy me a cup of coffee um, for a singular donation, that is great. Um, you can also help me by going to my merch store. You'll find links in my link tree or in the show notes below. But I have a lot of products there that you can purchase. All right. Talk to you later. Thanks again for joining me on my art process journey as I create my comic strip, The Last Earth. You can follow me on the web at www.pulptopixel.com and on Instagram and Twitter at pulp to pixel See the show description for links to my link tree, my merch store, and donation site. See you next time when we return to the distant future of The Last Earth. <laughs>